Hey everyone, my name's Walter, and we're here today with some content about Spokane's most eligible bachelor, Lucas Werner. Lucas is a currently 43-year-old man who uses science to justify his attraction to much younger women. He also made international news when he got kicked out of Starbucks and threatened to sue for age phobia. Anyway, let's just get into it with Lucas Werner memes. I say memes, but it's a bit of a stretch to call them that. What he really does is just take his own thoughts and put them over pictures, resulting in some really weird final products. There's no real theme here, I'm just going to cover some of the ones I'd like to read. Communism is when the workers are in power. What are you? A worker. What am I? A worker. You might wonder how Lucas is a worker when he hasn't had a job in over 20 years. Well, that's where the $5 a shout-out comes in. That was his job and made him a part of the proletariat, according to himself. I like how he tilted his head to make sure we get a good look at that giant zit. You can get my happy ass to give your mother a shout-out for $5. And we have this one, where he covered his food in pepper and couldn't manage to take a picture before taking a bite out of his cornbread. If Amazon was controlled by the workers, would a tornado have left 40 missing and presumed dead at an American distribution center at 3 a.m.? Think about it. I'm self-employed as a meme lord. For a weensy $5, I'll give you a YouTube shout-out and distribute the money to all my workers, which is me. Just imagine how quick you'd get kicked out of your parents' house if they asked you about getting a job and you told them you were self-employed as a meme lord. What god would leave me without a hot little 21-year-old honey when I give so freely of myself as your humble servant? For $20, I'll give you a we inspired video over YouTube to nab those shorties by the short shorts because my dick is like heroin-laced strawberries and apparently even that is not enough. You might want me to find a chick, but I live in a group home that leaves me with $15 a month right now. Sadly, it's going to take some money for me to hook up with a chick. Why would Lucas think anyone wants to fund his efforts to get laid? They already do that with their taxes. Spokane seems to be a mecca of Gen Z babes holding hands with baby boomers and Gen X dudes downtown. You can't lie to me when I've seen. I went to Disneyland and Hawaii twice as a kid. Want to visit my parents in Arizona? Be my hot Gen Z girlfriend. Look at that chin he can't fit under his mask. And yes, he's flexing about how his parents took him to Disneyland as a kid. Wow, look at Richie Rich over here bragging about something that happened over 30 years ago. He's like, come visit my parents, maybe they'll give you stuff, because God knows I can't afford to. Wanna go visit my dad and Becky on their 12 acres some weekend? Be my Zoomer girl, woman. Would you try to piss off a generous guy like myself with a dad who has 12 acres of land? You would if you're stupid. Wanna fly to Arizona to visit my mom and them? These smiles are some next level creepiness. And it must be weird for his parents to see these. Been doing exercises at home, like half push-ups and crunches, because I don't want to look like Chunk from the Goonies anymore. Oh, and this next one he's praising the Soviet Union. What a moron. The USSR had zero unemployment, universal health and education, unions, full suffrage for all, and a space program. It wasn't the Soviet people who toppled the Soviet government. It was the US capitalists who couldn't profit from the USSR being active. Know thy enemy. Yeah, Lucas would have gone to the Gulag for sure. Question, without money, why would people go to work? Answer, the same reason people post to Instagram for free. It takes a bit of thought to figure this one out. Luke is considered posting to Instagram to be his job at this moment, so if he's willing to do that, why shouldn't people show up to McDonald's to work for free? Lucas, working sucks. You obviously know that since you never do it. You know why those who also struggle are not your enemy? The homeless are there to scare the working class into doing their jobs, where they're mistreated and underpaid. But think if the homeless organized as one in your city and rose up. That definitely sounds like it'd be a good thing, doesn't it? If you're okay with cougars and milfs, but the idea of the woman being half his age disgusts you, congratulations, you're a fuckhead. Can't be on my feet long to get a job while my feet are in casts. Your god would hook me up with hot pussy if he wasn't such a non-existent whole ass. He always insults people that he wants things from. It's not just God he treats this way. Why are you Christians such little sinners and whores? I swear you're bragging when you talk about evil as you thirst for more. Nice car. Nice babe, Christian. But Matthew 624 says God or money, and I can't afford a car. Plus, shame on you for killing trees and wildlife. Any God telling you to subdue all life is a criminal. Notice how not being able to afford a car is the real reason? The environmentalism is just an afterthought. Girl, the difference between you and I is I'd date a homeless chick. I'm a communist. And of course, he exclusively refers to women as chicks, like he never escaped high school or the 90s. 
and him taking advantage of young homeless women is really one of the biggest concerns around this guy when he has a place to live. This next one isn't actually a meme, but it's a post that I wanted to cover at some point. My mom told me to shut up. I told her no. She said she'd turn the car around. I told her to go ahead and turn the car around. So she turned the car around. I told her I hated her. She asked to be excused. I told her no. Atheist horsey is tired of the bullshit. You go ahead and turn the car around. When you're done turning the car around, you can apologize for telling me to shut up. Lucas appears to have been 34 years old when he made this very edgy post about arguing with his mom. In my eyes, it would be shameful for a 12-year-old to make this post, but Lucas decided that this would make him look cool. You guys may not know this about me, but my mom once bought a $900 hybrid dog. He says you may not know this about me and then gives a fact about his mom. Guess she must not have been telling him to shut up anymore. Now let's switch over to his old Instagram. I had to make a new account to do this, and it was a total pain in the ass, so thanks to Instagram. Wern for President of America. 2024 United Wern Anarcho-Communist, UWAC, will fire everyone who works for city, country, state, and federal government. Solidarity. Everything is free. Businesses will be opened and everyone will be urged to steal everything. Wow, what a platform to run on. Lucas kind of wants to see all property reset because he doesn't own anything and has nothing to lose, really. Although, in reality, in the kind of anarchist environment he claims to want, he would be victimized for sure. So yeah, in the timeline, he was posting this anarchy stuff first, and then some months later, he was praising the Soviet Union. What a transition. Make me president. Fire all the government, including the military and the cops. If I go to your store, you'll serve us for free or we'll burn the building down. You'll get us more food and supplies or we'll steal a truck and they'll fill it or burn our truck down, to which we'll burn their building down. Then we take our truck full of stuff and they'll fill our tank for free and we'll plant gardens in the city parks. We'll hunt the forest. We'll trade. We'll take cash. We'll all have guns for business purposes. There will be hookers and drugs everywhere. Free food, no cops, music, dancing, swap meets, just a big nationwide party. I like that little Wern posted thing he puts at the bottom. I should put that on my thumbnails. He somehow thinks that people wouldn't just kill each other in this scenario. Also, Lucas makes use of cops a lot, so weird to see he wants to get rid of them. Okay, let's get off of politics and get back to Gen Z. 670 million is the amount of Generation Z women who want to have a baby right now. 200 studies are in favor of Generation X sperm, as we are 35 to 55, so some millennials, as the high fecund point, is 45. Two-thirds of women want to have a baby right now. Literally found by googling the term Generation Z women. The high fecund point of women is 18 to 24. But you're not ready for that discussion. I'm not going to Google it, but if you disagree that two-thirds of women want to have a baby right now, let me hear it in the comments. That stat sounds astronomical to me. You baseball cap clones aren't wearing masks when I walk past the bars. I don't know how women can possibly trust you Generation Z misogynists and other assorted bigots. Maybe if you age foes weren't cock-blocking me with your classism. Vice President is a woman. I realize she's a fucking pig. You don't have to like her or cops, but you need to start respecting women. And stop calling them female dogs, you bitch male manlets. He says you need to start respecting women one sentence after calling Kamala Harris a pig. Sure, Lucas. I know he's talking about being a cop, but as I've said before, he actually likes calling the cops on people sometimes. Oh look, I shit you not, this was posted two days before the last one. Sure, call me an autist, you dumb stupid idiots. Do it IRL though, and I'll call the police for harassment. I don't give a fuck. And then he's all ACAB anti-cop two days later. Beautiful. The proper way to approach a woman is, Hi, I'm followed by your name, followed by how are you? Sometimes women are too skinny, too chubby, too promiscuous, too mean, aren't your thing or aren't wearing a mask. Don't be into platonic with your thing. Ignore and move on. A woman was too promiscuous for Lucas? Yeah, I bet. And anyone who can be described as chubby is a lot smaller than he is. Oh wait, here's one from this period talking about how great Stalin's gulags were. I don't think I have to go over how wrong this is. I'm sure there's already plenty of YouTube content about these death camps. Three epic rants against capitalism. The worm will radicalize you. I don't know what to do to find a girlfriend. When you're nice, they fuck off to some other dude. When you're mean, they attack you and then fuck off to some other dude. I hate this fucking world. I think this is Jupiter's moon Ganymede. Not sure why though. You speak of common ground. 
My stepdad's a total fucking nerd, but my mom's kind of a bad bitch. It amuses me how you think Wern can't get along with Gen Z women. Your opinion is adorable. It's surprising to see him call his mom a bad bitch considering how much he usually complains about the term being misogynistic. Also, is it normal for a man in his 40s to mention his parents this much? It's kind of ridiculous to me. When are Generation Z women going to stop hating me? When I'm an undateable corpse? The oligarchs of age phobia, are ya? But doesn't it say in Luke 12.15 to be wary of greed? Are you willing to talk to me, Generation Z? You see, honeys, I'm an age gapper. I see you walking around holding hands with your multiple girlfriends, talking about how liberal you are, flashing your greed. Telomerase, the enzyme on the ends of DNA that keeps the strands from getting frayed. Your 18 to 24 year old ova, my 25 to 55 year old spermatozoa. All about those healthy little babies. God, what did he do to that mask? Maybe this was the time he used it as an oven mitt. One more post, I think. And this one is rather horrifying. Generation Z woman, were you slutty during the air virus? Are you a classist bigot or an agephobic bigot? Do you give in to the greed of these boys crying for sex and you just roll with it? Gen Z woman, are you okay? I mean, as a human? Where's your brain? Where's your heart? I am your final judgment. Do you love me? Are you okay? I will choke you with the truth until you do. It's up to you what you do. Certainly spoken like a man who has a domestic violence charge, isn't it? Anyway, that's about all the time I have for you today. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have something to say about the memes or posts, let me hear it in the comments. People usually have something to say about Lucas, and I want to hear it. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more of the same. I plan to be working here in the near future. Not that my job is any more legitimate than being a meme lord, I guess. Speaking of that, big thanks to my awesome patrons, who support me more directly over on Patreon, and I really appreciate it. Okay, I will be back soon with more Reddit stuff, but let me know if you'd like more of this series in the future where I just read Lucas posts and memes. I could do more of this sometimes. I'll also have more Russell Greer here soon, hopefully. Well, have a great day, everyone. And don't feel the wern.